Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on July 3rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start out here looking at our sun. As we do have an Earth-facing coronal hole and some sun activity. Small plasma ropes dancing Earth-facing. So definitely we'll be expecting some space weather. In the coming 12 to 20 hours from this coronal hole wind stream that little bit of plasma activity still very quiet on the sun that small departing and eroding sunspot Thank you all for watching today. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends and family from around the world so you can stay aware and prepared too. Because at any time, our sun could produce a very large CME during our, our weakened magnetosphere. And we'll see an increase in the seismicity from around the world. Let's look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Zooming in here on an earthquake swarm in Alaska after a 5.3 overnight in Kaktovik, Alaska. You can see 4.1 and 4.2 all around this, 4.4, 3.9 in Craig, Alaska. And then there's 3.4 in Cobb, California couple small earthquakes Midwestern United States Arkansas with a 2.5 Cushing Oklahoma with a 2.7 4.6 in Mexico 4.2 Guatemala and 4.7 Nicaragua so this is all very recent 4.5 in Colombia and then down here Bristol Islands region south of the sandwich south sandwich islands 5.0 so now all the activity has moved to the right side of the ring of fire after this large 5.8 at a 574 kilometer depth in the doe bg so pretty much right after that earthquake the earthquake swarm began in alaska He's the only other two to report from around the world there. You can see right here, this map is showing most of the activity is in Alaska. So watch the quiet zones. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. Not much has changed. Still looking at a lot of deep earthquakes recently. Watch the quiet zones, subduction zones. Stay aware and prepared, have a plan, be ready. You go to the Pacific Disaster Center here where you can download this app yourself and get the latest disasters as they happen. Looking here, it's still flooding across the United States, Southeastern United States, and as well Midwestern. Also, Hurricane Barbara, who was a Category 4 storm. We're going to get into looking at Barbara in just a moment. Most recently for volcanoes, Popo has gotten an update. As well, here's that 5.3 in Alaska. So, Reventador getting an update, Dokono, Sabinkaya. Definitely an increase in seismicity and volcanism from around the world. Just even in the past two years of posting videos on YouTube. 
heat waves are still sticking around throughout eastern South Korea as well as South Pakistan and Uzbekistan and throughout parts of Europe France and Spain now dealing with forest fires due to the extreme heat northern parts of Europe looking like they're going to cool down this next little while hopefully some relief we'll have to see let's look at our storm coverage one tropical storm to talk about this very large Hurricane Barbara look at those outer bands the sheer size of this is mind blowing our first major hurricane of the season and Barbara is a beast let's hope she diminishes as she heads into the high pressure ridge of the Pacific Ocean let's hope it does not have another Hurricane Hugo event in Hawaii let's get to the 5 day forecast brought to you by Meteor if you like overlooking Australia large pressure system heading down from Queensland definitely going to bring some heavy rain some flood alerts throughout the region squished there by two high pressure ridges intensifying as it moves to the south parts of Myanmar and Burma still relentless rain and heavy rain as well and then moving straight northeast the atmospheric river Pacific Ocean, large low pressure center spinning in the center of the Pacific, moving north again to Alaska. So now we're still in some pretty dry conditions on the BC coastline. As you can see, things are cooling across northern parts of North America, Canada, and the west. Extreme heat is still hanging around throughout the eastern United States and the Gulf of Mexico. Stay aware and prepared. Thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.